Hey friends, Scott here to share my May reading plans with you. I know we're a few days in already. I'm running behind, but uh, better late than never, as they say. So uh, it's going to be another busy month. Hopefully I'll do a better job sticking to my plans this month than I did last month. But uh, at the very least, I'll have them documented here for you and myself uh, for some level of accountability. So I have started out already uh, with my reread of George R. R. Martin's A Feast for Crows. This is book four in my favorite series of all time, A Song of Ice and Fire. We have continued live shows uh, with Joanna, Joanna Sousa, and Alex at Tall Guy Reads. Um, we just did our Storm of Swords uh, live show, and that was fantastic. That was a good time. I am having a fantastic time with Feast for Crows. I will be uh, leading the two live streams for that show on my own channel. Um, dates uh, should be the last Saturday of this month and the first Saturday of June. Uh, however, they may be pushed back, so I'll keep everybody apprised of the schedule. Um, and hopefully uh, there will be some folks that can join us live on each of those shows. Uh, next up, uh, something that I promised I would read in April and didn't get to uh, was The Serotine Mosaic by Guy Gabriel Kay. This is uh, two books. It's a duology. It's Sailing to Serantium and Lord of Emperors. Uh, together, it's roughly a thousand pages, so um, certainly should be doable. Uh, my friend Madison over at Madison Goodyear just read it. She said it's fantastic and she thought I would love it. Uh, Jake over Jake Bishop, my friend, uh, has been banging the drum on GGK, uh, his fellow Canadian, for years now. Uh, and of course, Christopher Rocchio himself, uh, who has been on my channel and shared his top 10 list, has this particular series, this duology, on his uh, top 10 fantasy stories of all time list. So, um, needs to happen. Uh, I need to make it my biggest priority immediately after finishing Feast for Crows. Speaking of Rocchio, uh, we still have him Him and myself uh, have to go through and talk through Citadel of the Autark. That was book four of Book of the New Sun, a uh, confusing but ultimately wonderful story uh, that I quite enjoyed. Uh, a fantastic uh, wrapping up of the series. However, there is one more book uh, that was written a few years later, and that's Earth of the New Sun. Uh, Earth, U-R-T-H, uh, as it is spelled throughout uh, the series. Um, it is the longest <laughs> of the five books, hilariously. Uh, it was written almost as an afterthought, as I understand it. It's a coda uh, to the series by Gene Wolfe. Um, so that uh, is a priority for me this month as well. I need to make sure and get that completed. Uh, I do plan to make time to discuss both Citadel and Earth with Rocchio at earliest convenience. He's a busy guy lately uh, with uh, dad-to-be duties as well as a Kickstarter that he is running uh, for the first time uh, as well as he just completed his manuscript for Disquiet Gods, which comes out next year, so he will be in the midst of uh, revising and editing that, as well as the short stories that he's completing, so he's a busy guy. Um, so I will uh, do what I can to make time uh, with him and talk through those two books and the series as a whole, because uh, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, and he is the person that uh, ultimately got me to go ahead and read it, uh, which is great. Assuming I complete all of that, <laughs> I do also have to get to the rereads of Iron Gold and Dark Age, uh, which are books four and five of Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Uh, we have Lightbringer uh, coming in July, so it's not uh, a super big deal breaker if I don't get those done this month. I would just roll them into June. Um, but... Uh, you know, I already missed out on some of the discussion uh, in last month by not rereading Iron Gold then. I, I don't want to 
uh, continue to miss out uh, on what's going on. So like to be caught up there uh, with those two books. Uh, they're both quite a bit chunkier than their counterparts in the first trilogy. Uh, and Dark Age especially, I think, is 800 pages. So it's uh, it's a little beefy, uh, but we'll get her done, uh, hopefully. And then assuming all that gets done, uh, the one other big thing uh, this month that I would like to read that will be a lot easier to read than everything else and, and should not be a challenge, uh, Jack Carr's... Uh, is it the fifth, I think, uh, book at this point, uh, is, uh, Only the Dead, uh, will be coming out, I believe it's the 13th or 14th, um, maybe it's not, usually the books come out on Tuesday, in any case, on the 14th, uh, Mother's Day, uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom, early, I love you, uh, on that particular day, uh, I do have a ticket. Uh, he'll be in Scottsdale, which is about a half hour drive for me, uh, at the Poison Pen, uh, which I did get to meet him there last year. He'll be there again this year. On Mother's Day uh, for an event. So uh, as part of the ticket, I get a copy of the book. It'll be signed by him and he'll do some uh, speaking, which will be cool. So I will try to have uh, some video and or uh, photo footage of that event. Um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, uh, those those are the plans. It doesn't sound like a lot in terms of quantity of books, but I promise it's a large amount in quantity of pages. Um, and uh, ideally, I'll get all that done and still have some time to mix and match uh, some lighter stuff in uh, just to keep things fresh and uh, it, and keep on the, uh, you know, reading 100 or more pages a day because I fell off of that uh, wagon a little bit in April. So, But uh, otherwise, I hope everybody else has really cool May plans. I'm seeing a lot of people are doing... Uh, what are they calling it? Mood reading May. Uh, so I've seen uh, Madison and Theo and some other folks are uh, embracing the mood reader in themselves. But uh, I have too many things I need to do to to sort of commit to something like that. So it's funny, commit to mood reading. But in any case, uh, I'm babbling. So I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Uh, I hope you're all having a great month so far. And as always, publication order always, my friends.